what's up guys it's your boy coming back at you with another video today uh car meet in eden last night went fairly well considering the weather it was kind of crappy and rainy still had a pretty decent turnout considering um Had, had some guys ride out from uh, out in Burlington Way. Uh, had a couple come down from Roanoke Way. Of course, me and RJ were there from up here in Danville. So, you know, it was a decent little turnout. Well, nothing to really brag about. Um, overall, went went fairly well. Got to, you know, just hang out for a little while. Got to talk some junk. As always. Um, Miss uh, Darius at the meet last night. He, uh, he was at home sick. It, you know, this time of year sucks for that. Um, of course, the one night that he doesn't come out, we get quite a few other Mustangs to ride out. So, sorry you missed them, buddy. Uh, did have another Camaro show up last night. Uh, pretty nice. It was a uh, fifth gen. And uh, I think he was trying to give uh, my buddy Nasty 2SS a run for his money. He uh, had a cam, full bolt on. Uh, straight pipe, you know, the whole nine yards. Thank you, you know, sounded pretty good, but not as good as Jeremy's. And uh, definitely looked okay. I mean, it looked pretty much stock, you know, until he fired it up. Um, but it was pretty nice. I got some video of that. Uh, you know, of him sitting there idling it and, you know, showing off how it sounds. Um, did get a little bit of video from the meat. It, like I said, it wasn't a whole lot there. So it's not a whole lot of video. But I did get a little something from it, you know, just to bring to you guys. Um... I got to start working on my content from the shows and meets that I go to. I got to start working on bringing y'all the content from that. That way you can see some of what I'm seeing when I'm out and about. Um, yeah, like I said, pretty much just your average meet. I mean, it wasn't nothing special. It wasn't a huge turnout. Weather kind of held back a whole lot of that. Um, wasn't really much of anything else going on. Just a bunch of us sitting around talking a bunch of junk. You know, more of a hangout than it was an actual meet, but it was nice to get out for a little while. And all this weather and everything here lately been have been staying cooped up in the house, and it was nice to get out and hang out with some people for a while course got to get my fix in every damn day um wanted to talk about something that i did do at the meet last night i finally made a decision concerning part of what i was thinking about with the tc and i did de-banner myself from sub-level imports now, it's nothing against the club, nothing against anyone in the club. You know, it's still a good group of guys. It's still a good club. It's just some personal reasons why I felt that I needed to separate myself from that. Um, probably just gonna 
not really ride solo, but just ride unbannered from anything for a while. Um, try to work on my car and try to work on getting myself into some of the shows that I really want to be in and maybe potentially try to get into a, another club at some point in time later. Um, I want to try to start doing a more more of the charity events as well because they do you know raise money for really good causes um, especially like you know charity events for autism awareness um, breast cancer awareness uh, stuff like that um, you know it, those are really good causes and I want to start trying to do more of that as well as I want to try to start doing more of the bigger car shows so with that being said I know it's going to take a lot of work to my car before I can start doing a lot of that so you know I'm just going to take some personal time and, and work on my car and uh, you know just everything like that so you know don't don't think I'm hating on anybody in the in the club or hating on the club itself because you know I'm, I'm still gonna hang out with the, the guys around here and uh, you know I, I would still support the club and you know I'll tell anybody that if, if you so want to join you know go for it you know I'm not gonna put them down by no means you know it's just some personal things with me you know going on right now so I'm just gonna separate myself from it now like I said I'm I'm still you know not gonna bash them or anything and you know it may come to a point where I join back up with them but just right now it's not really my thing so with that being said, I also have uh, two new sponsors to speak of. Uh, I did get these in the last week. Um, actually, I want to say it was around Wednesday or Thursday, probably, that I actually picked these sponsors up. Um, United Culture. Uh, go give them a follow on Instagram. It's United dot tm i will uh post that up in the description below and uh also it's another page on instagram um they have their own website as well i can't remember the name of the website right off um but if you go on instagram and search sniffs for wills uh it's an air freshener company um I picked them up as a sponsor as well. Um, if you go on their Instagram page, they have a link to the website. And you can go on there and you can get one-time uh, buys. Like, you can buy just, you know, air fresheners one time. Or you can get a monthly subscription. And the subscriptions will range anywhere from... Two dollars and fifty cents a month to eight dollars a month. You can get them in one month intervals, uh, more than once a month. You can get it uh, once every two months. You know, you, you got options with them. Um, so go check them out. Uh, I will post uh, their Instagram in the description as well. Um, if you go check them out and you do want to purchase, um, make sure to use my code and I'm going to uh, post it in the description with their Instagram page. Um, 
that'll give you 10% off of your first purchase. So if you make a, if you get a subscription to them, or if you just buy one time, uh, it'll give you 10% off of your first purchase. So like I said, I'm gonna put that code in the description along with their Instagram and United's Instagram. Um, that way you can go check them out. Um, United also has their own website. Theirs is also linked in their Instagram page. Um, they sell hoodies, shirts, um, decals, air fresheners as well. I mean, they got they got a whole list of stuff, and, and so uh, it's pretty nice. Um, so, like I said, go check them out. I just wanted to go ahead and give them a shout out uh, real quick. I'm waiting on my decals to come in for United, and I'm also waiting on my first two air fresheners to come in for uh, Sniffs for Whips. So, when when the air fresheners come in, I will uh, I will post up a video about them, and uh, I know you can choose which scents you get and they've got like seven or eight to choose from so one scent that I knew I would like was the black ice and then every month I'm going to get a I'm going to get that one and I'm also going to get a random one so they're going to choose you know just a random air freshener scent to send me every month so, probably every time I get a random one, I will uh, post up about the scent and what I think about it. And uh, let y'all know how it lasts. Um, according to uh, what I was reading on them, it's supposed to last for about two weeks maybe a little more depending um so i will see um you know i'll try to bring y'all some information about them you know that way if you're interested in uh purchasing from them um you know you'll, you'll have a little more feedback on on their product um and also, if you're in the car scene, uh, United and Sniffs and Whips are always looking to provide sponsorship. Um, so, if you're interested in getting sponsored by them, hit them up. Send them a message on Instagram. Um, you know, just hit them up and talk to them about it. Um, I'm sure they would enjoy and be more than happy to, you know, sponsor someone else and, and help get their brand out there. So, like I said, if you're interested, just send them a DM on Instagram and, uh, and talk to them about it. But that's about all I got for today. I'm uh, going to go hang out with uh, my buddy RJ for a little while. Uh, you can check him out at BDNF Entertainment on YouTube, building underscore dreams 90 on IG. Uh, go give him a follow and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to go over here and hang out for a little while. and uh, We will catch y'all next time. And of course, like I always say in every video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're already watching and you're not subscribed, you're already here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And when you hit, when you subscribe, go ahead and hit that little bell notification bar. That way you get notified when my videos get posted. Um, don't forget to like my videos, share as always, 
uh, comment. Let me know what kind of content you want to see. Let me know, you know, what what I can do on here, you know, that, that might make you want to watch even more. Um, I'm open to all kinds of suggestions. Um, just leave me a comment below. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want me to do. And I'll, I'll try to see what I can make happen. Um, don't forget to go and follow my Instagram. It's basic underscore TC 2.0. I'm going to post up the videos from last night right here at the end of this video. So I hope y'all enjoy. Like I said, it wasn't a whole lot out last night. So, uh, and it was kind of dark. The lights were out again. So I hope you enjoy the videos from last night. And like I said, again, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, y'all be safe and we'll catch you next time.